Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. Please welcome IIANC Chairman Jackie Ireland. Good morning, everyone. Hope you've had a great weekend. Uh, uh, took me a while in the shower this morning to get all the uh, oil and the uh, gasoline smell off of me from driving that car last night. But uh, I think I found a new uh, lease in life. And uh, as soon as I can get Tim here to take over, I'm going to go ahead and hit the track this afternoon, I think. Um, I want to welcome the Templeton family this morning, uh, Miss Audrey and Kristen, uh, Tim's sister, Macy, Chase, and Hannah. Welcome, and we're glad to have you here. I want to thank you for uh, loaning Tim to me this past year to be kind of my right-hand man. He's did a wonderful job and has always had my back in every case. So thank you, Tim. I appreciate that. It's been a, um, a wonderful year this year. Uh, everyone's kind of joking, joking with me that... Uh, I pulled some strings to make this a very short year because normally, you know, we have the installation in October and here it is mid-July and I'm kind of bailing out on the board kind of early. But um, also I want to remind everyone on the board that I'm probably the longest serving board member that's ever been served, ever served on the board as well. So um, I'm really not bailing out. I'm just kind of letting someone else come in and take over. Um, if I could at this time, I'd like to recognize past... Independent Insurance Station, North Carolina President Neil Annis, to come give our invocation. Good morning. Will you join me in prayer? Father, we come this morning, and as we're here, while it may be a little different group than what we're normally associated with on Sunday mornings, it's a wonderful group to be with. It's wonderful to share their fellowship. We thank you for this convention, for the opportunity that we've had to learn to fellowship with one another. And now as we go into this time of installing leaders, we would ask that is that you bless them in what they're going to be doing this coming year. Go with us as we travel to our homes this afternoon. Thank you for this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As I said, it has been a wonderful year. We've accomplished an awful lot this year, and it could not have been done without the help of many, many people. Um, all of our directors who have supported me uh, this year, just thank you. You guys have worked, and uh, at, uh, just incredible the things you've been able to accomplish this year. Uh, we would not have been able to accomplish um, any of this if it wasn't for our company partners that we have, and I'd like to recognize them at this time. I'm going to call you at your particular level if you'll stand up and we're going to uh, give you a round of applause after that but as I said at the uh, the dinner on the Thursday night I think it was the days are passing pretty quickly um, it, the financial things that you do for us are wonderful but that pales in comparison to the things you do every day in our agencies and as, as a part of the association we're so happy to have you as friends colleagues partners and, and we appreciate that and I thank you from the bottom of my heart at the presidential level, uh, GMAC Insurance, Jackson Sumner Associates, Johnson & Johnson, Montgomery Insurance, Progressive Insurance, Smart Choice, and Travelers. If you would all stand at this time, let us recognize you, please. At the platinum level, we have Allied Insurance, Safeco Insurance. Please rise and let us recognize you at this time. Please. You want here? And at the gold level, Bankers Insurance Group. Our silver, silver level sponsors are Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services. Central Insurance Company, Imperial Credit Corporation, Kemper, Millennium Insurance Group, and QBE. And our bronze level partners, Amtrust of North America, the Berkeley Mid-Atlantic Group, Cincinnati Insurance Company, Erie Insurance Group, First Flight Insurance Group, 
Hanover Excess and Surplus, Hartford Mutual Insurance Company, J.W. Wilson, MetLife Auto and Home, Penn National Insurance, Prime Rate AFCO Premium Finance, Priority Payment Systems, State Auto Insurance Company, TAPCO Underwriters, the Hartford Universal Insurance Company, and Zurich Small Business. Please recognize them at this time. We had several people very busy selling tickets, 50-50 uh, tickets for our pack this year, and I'm going to call on Jessica Medlin and Nicole Hicks to come up and um, draw the winner, I think, or announce the winner of the 50-50 pack drawing, and they're going to remain here to talk about the golf winners this morning. So Jessica and Nicole. Good morning. I first just want to say thank you to everyone that participated in our pack in some way, whether it was the 50-50 raffle, silent auction, or the golf tournament. We raised a good bit of money. To start with, we're going to announce the 50-50 pack winner. We raised a total of $765, which your share would be $383. Jim Boast. Is he here? Well, Jim Bose won $383. <laughs> Secondly, I want to let you know at the silent auction, we raised a total of $3,310. Thank you. You can pick up your prizes at the registration desk and pay for them after this meeting. Um, the third is the Mulligans. Mulligans and Double Up were raised a total of $1,115, bringing us to a grand total of $4,806. Thank you. <laughs> now for what you guys really want to hear. <laughs> the golf tournament. Closest to the pin on hole number five goes to Josh Lipstone. Hole number 10, Jer Jerome Lyles. And hole number 15, Stuart Powell. <laughs> Longest drive, men goes to Todd Hyatt. And ladies, Karen Epermanis. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and apologize if I get anyone's name wrong. Third place with a 61 net score, Brian Beasley. Josh Lipstone, Steve Maynon, and Andy Hyatt. <laughs> Second place with a score of 59, Rob, Scott Coons, Jason, James Lowry, and Steve, sorry, I can't read your last name. <laughs> And then first place with a score of 58 goes to Patrick Laney, Jeff Haney, Charlie Hoover, and Dashiell Probes. If you will see Michelle after this, she has your prizes and congratulations. Thank you again. That was a stacked group. Charlie Pratt had, had nothing to do with arranging that foursome. Um, our events, uh, particularly our conferences and our events throughout the year, could not be made possible without the efforts of our events committee, chairman by Jeff Gibson. Um, events have undergone a, 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 a really a radical change over the last several years, and we're, we're working hard to get a strategic uh, plan in place to where we can improve on the number of events, where they're located, and so forth. And this committee has done a fantastic job, um, very patiently and graciously working with these changes. And, Jeff, I'd like for you to stand with your committee as well, please, this morning. Let's recognize all of them. At this time, I'd like to recognize several people who um, have served um, on our board for a long time. 
uh, they'll be uh, transferring off of the board, but I'm certain not away from the work of our association. Um, if they would come forward, please, uh, Ms. Charlotte Hicks, Donald Evans, and Dennis Howe. Charlotte will be transferring as uh, away from the immediate past chairman, and she's uh, vacating that spot so I can uh, aspire to that uh, cherished position in our association. And Charlotte has done an outstanding job, uh, again, supporting me and supporting our board and also serving as president of this association. And uh, we appreciate everything you do and have done and will continue to do, I know. Um, Dennis, um, how, um, Dennis uh, fell uh, ill this year in the middle of the year, and... Uh, through the prayers of, of many of you out there, um, Dennis was able to be with he us here today. He's unable to be with us physically uh, at many of our meetings this year, but he's always uh, been in contact with us and participated through conference calls. And, um, and uh, Dennis, just thank you so much for, for your um, willingness to work and continue to think about us and, and, and offer ideas to me and the, the committee through this through this adversity that you've experienced. But uh, we're so glad to have you here and see you at full health this morning. And uh, great to have you, you and Nancy with us this morning. So thank you very much. Um, when people around the um, country, the, the IABA, think of North Carolina, normally they put a face with our association, and usually that face, uh, particularly over the last six years, has been Donald C. Evans. He, is, uh, um, he has served us well at our association, uh, uh, National Association as National Director, and because of his work and um, uh, the manner in which he conducts himself um, North Carolina, the agents of North Carolina held in, high, held in high esteem. And I want to thank you, Don, because for the many hours you devoted to this position. That, uh, 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 thank you. Normally when you hear the word ambassador, you think of someone who has a character and integrity, someone with whom uh, other people that, uh, look up to. They trust the, the, what they say, and they trust that they've prepared themselves to, to deal with whatever level of diplomacy that needs to be taken care of. And, and as I just mentioned, uh, we have been well represented for the last six years by a man who has served on multiple committees with the Independent Insurance Agents and Brokers of America. Um, he is, uh, as I said, as when people think of North Carolina around the country in the insurance business, they think of Donald Evans. Um, Don is the um, first winner of uh, one of my presidential or chairman citations this year, and I'd like to ask him to come forward for that. Thank you, Jackie, and, and thank each of you. I told the Board of Directors on Friday morning that um, I remember uh, the first committee meeting I went to in 1976. I can tell you who was chairman of that committee. He's still an active agent today. I said when I was sitting there, what am I doing here? Uh, I can tell you that I went to my first Young Agents Conference. It was at Myrtle Beach, and I remember sitting on the bank watching them play tennis, and we just uh, had morning meetings, and I thought, what am I doing here? I can tell you I went to the first agents convention in Pinehurst, and I thought, what am I doing here? Everything from then to now 
has been about you and us and what we do and this industry that we represent. Uh, it's been about representing you. I thank you for your relationships. I don't take them lightly. Thank you. Thank you, Don. Didn't Miss Judy dress him well this morning? <laughs> Heard somebody made mention that um, after this is over, he probably uh, begin to sell ice cream with that bow tie on there. <laughs> but all of you know, and Don, he'd sell a lot of ice cream. He'd sell it by the gallon, wouldn't he? <laughs> Thank you, Don. Uh, the next recipient of uh, Chairman's citation is a young lady who. This, this year um, led the committee with um, uh, just an immense amount of enthusiasm. Whenever I talked to her, or even when I received her emails, it pumped me up just to receive an email for her. And, you, and you gotta, you've got to stay on top of things to pump this group she, she leads up. This, uh, this group of young agents has done an outstanding job this year um, being good corporate citizens and uh, just being altruistic through their efforts with the Victory Junction campaign. Um, Nicole Hicks, would you please come up at this time? Nicole is not here this morning. Uh, but the, Nicole Hicks is the recipient of the next uh, chairman's citation. And um, I see Carl out there. He's the vice chairman. So would you come up, Carl? Because we have a little extra presentation here this morning. Brian, are you there? The Brian's is the subcommittee chairman of the. There he is. As I said, they've done a fantastic job, not only raising money for Victory Junction, but actually doing hands-on work there, participating. They ran races. They, they, they came to NASCAR races and sold pins. They put together equipment at Victory Junction. They, some of them are taking care of children at Victory Junction. And uh, uh, you just gone, you know, you just represented our association so well. And we appreciate that. Uh, when we saw the presentation the other night, we understood that uh, I think at that time you were about $7,000 short of your $25,000 goal for the year. And um, several of us talked afterwards and, and felt that that just we couldn't go away from this conference um, uh, be, being short. So I understand there's been several thousand more added, so you're up to around 20 now. Okay. Well, the association has decided, the executive committee has decided to um, contribute another $5,000 to go ahead and bring you up to your goal. And I, there are many other people who have approached me. They'll be contributing as well, so that you're going to be way beyond your goal. But I, I thank you for your work this week. Much of the work of our association is done behind the scenes, and, um, and when it works, it, it, it works like a well-oiled machine. And uh, this year, we saw several instances of that, and I just want to talk about one, uh, for example. Uh, we, we, we were brought an idea by some insurance companies earlier in the year, and uh, the idea sounded uh, very good to us, and it was in the area of uh, rate modernization here in North Carolina. And um, most of us are free market people. We're uh, entrepreneurs, you know, so we, we felt like that, that was a, that's, that's a really good idea. And um, the, 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 way, the manner in which we approach these things is we just don't, someone just didn't bring us an idea and two or three of us could shake our head and say, yeah, it's a good idea, and jump, jump on the bag, bandwagon and go. We allow it to go through our committees. And the first committee, when someone brings us an idea like this, is a technical committee. It's made up of some of the best minds insurance mines in the state of North Carolina, and, I, and I'm not um, overstating that fact. It is. Those guys, they, they, they love to read the forms, they love to write forms, and they are, um, they're, they're very good at what they do. When they come back with some advice, or, uh, led by Stuart and uh, Tim Ward, there, I, you know, I just trust what they say, because they're a whole lot smarter than I am at these things. Um, there's an individual that serves on this committee and has served on this committee for many years that um, takes it another level. He'll, 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 he's willing to voluntarily write, write white papers. And once um, those are completed, he's willing to take those, if necessary, to his local legislators. And he's not shy about doing that at all. He feels that's his responsibility, and he does a very good job of that, of stating our position. Um, this individual you don't hear much about, but um, he's always working, and, um, and you'll... You'll always know he's there. Um, 
And uh, this, uh, my next pr- uh, chairman citation goes to Mr. John Miller. John has a new representative. Matter of fact, we have many new friends in the General Assembly right now, but uh, he made sure that uh, we were very familiar and that it, this individual was very familiar with us before the session started this year. So thank you, John. As I said, as the machine works, it, uh, we move these things through a process. So once technical committee decides this is something that uh, the association can, can back and, and, um, and do so with integrity, we move it on through the legislative committee. And our legislative committee, these are people who are involved on a daily basis with individuals who represent us in the General Assembly. They have special relationships with these people. And it, we're not it for these people that uh, we wouldn't have much of a voice down there because when uh, the, the, the chairman or the or, or, or well, we have a very good lobbyist, John Bode. There's no question, but it's still John will tell us if he were here today that uh, the grassroots efforts is really what moves legislation along. And uh, there was an incident this year where we had a, 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 a contested race in one area of North Carolina to where one of our agents really stepped up to the plate this year. And uh, I, I would dare say, without his efforts, this individual may not have been elected. And this individual ended up being the chairman of one of the insurance committees. So that's very important to us. Uh, but uh, this was not. This was uh, through the giving of money, through attending fundraising events, and actually driving to Raleigh multiple times to meet with this individual, so he would know who we were, and we would have a, a relationship with him. Uh, this individual is another individual that's very enthusiastic, particularly about the legislation and the political arena. You probably going to see him run for something one of these days. I don't know whether it'll be governor or who knows, president, who knows. But, but uh, the next uh, recipient of a, a chairman's citation is Mr. Jim Mazingo. There aren't many board members that have been around longer than I have that are currently serving now, but we do have one other that um, has been uh, involved with the association for um, longer than I can remember, really. Uh, but uh, this year we, um, we, we have an agency in our association, the North Carolina Association of Insurance Agents, uh, where we take care of the insurance for the state of North Carolina. And um, we've done that for many years and, and, and do it quite well. Uh, we have the full faith of the risk managers of the state of North Carolina and our agency under the direction of um, Stuart Powell and um, Shirley. They, they just do an absolutely wonderful job uh, protecting um, the state employees, well, most of the entities throughout the state of North Carolina. Uh, we brought back a, um, uh, a, an event that we were having uh, called the uh, North Carolina Association of Insurance Agents Company Appreciation Day. And that's just a day where we get together and, and, and uh and share a game of golf or tennis or uh, and a meal. And um, uh, I, we had done away with this for a few years uh, because of some ideas in the state that we may have been um, compensating people unfairly. But uh, uh, the more we thought about that, the, the more we thought this is just a day where we can get people together and um, and um, build, a, build relationships. And that's what we're about. We're about people in this association and building relationships. Um, this individual has also been called the uh, conscious of the board. Um, keeps me straight and uh, probably kept me out of jail this last board meeting. Um, someone slipped in behind me and uh, they happened to call it to my attention. But um, the next uh, recipient of a chairman's citation is um, Charlie Hoover. This is fun. I could do this all morning. <laughs> Had enough plaques to hand out there. 
Uh, the, the, we're going to begin to give out some of the awards that we give out each year. And the first award is the um, Southeastern Insurance Institute Award. It's actually a scholarship that's awarded to an agency and allows them uh, money to um, continue pro pro the professional development of their staff. Um, this year, that award goes to Granite Insurance Agency. Losing my touch, what to say. <clears throat> I was recently attending an event that this uh, association holds um, each year. As a matter of fact, we've been holding this event um, um, for for many years. And there's um, uh, this year uh, there was about 175 young people from across the state who came together. Um, to participate in this event, and you know I'm talking about the Trusted Choice Big Eye Junior Golf Classic. You talk about a well-oiled machine. Now, when these guys come into town, when they come to Mid Pines, they take over Mid Pines. The town belongs to them, and everything just just runs perfectly. Um, this committee is just just an outstanding committee, has been for years, and um, this year in, in particular, uh, the 43rd year. Um, we had a young man that kind of uh, succumbed to the heat early on in the in the event, and he really needed an IV, and he didn't want to take this IV because he recognized that once once I take that, I'm going to out of the tournament. And he was actually doing quite well, and so his parents talked with him for a little while, and uh, they were unable to talk him into taking that IV. Now, my dad would have probably talked me into it pretty quickly, but. Uh, uh, this day and time, you know, it's a, it's, it's a kinder, gentler, gentler time, you know, so, um, <laughs> no boots in the rear. But, um, no, this, this family tried to talk him in. He just didn't want to. He didn't want to come out of this tournament. And you gotta admire the guy's competitiveness for that. But, um, our, um, um, committee chairman stepped in and, 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 and got along with this individual, this little, this young man and, um, and talked him into going to get that, uh, that IV. And, um, and he went on and got the medical treatment he needed, and um, everything went on as usual. And um, one thing that stuck out in my mind, uh, I guess it was four or five hours later, um, I heard this individual say, oh, I need to go to the hospital and visit this young man. And there was a lot going on this, during this, this committee, uh, during this uh, tournament, and this chairman was devoting much of his time there. But uh, this guy's a, he's a big old guy, and sometimes when you see him coming, you kind of shy away. You want to get out of the way because you think he's going to bulldoze, or bulldoze over you or grab you. Uh, but he's, got, he's just a big teddy bear. He's got a huge heart. His heart is much larger than his, his size. This year's winner of the AAMGA Achievement Award is the chairman of the Big Eye Youth Golf Classic Committee, Lehman Clements. For the last couple of years, the visibility of the Independent Insurance Agent of North Carolina has just exploded exponentially, and it's primarily because of the work of this individual and his company. It's actually a hobby of his, but um, even this event right now is being seen on the Internet. It's kind of frightening to me, believe me, because I don't like to get up and speak in front of people. I'm not very good at it, and this, you know, uh, but um, that's the way it is. And um, this individual um, has, has, has traveled to Raleigh to conduct interviews. We've traveled to his place to have some done. Um, he's actually also... Uh, using his equipment and his time and efforts to promote an education project we have called EBIN where we've been able to um, actually sell our, some of our educational programs over the Internet through the work of, of this individual. Um, this year's company professional of the year is Mr. Wayne Sumner of Jackson Sumner & Associates.
Oh. I'm not used to being in front of the cameras. Uh, they told me a long time ago that I have a face, a face radio, and I should stay with that. I'm very honored, but uh, back a few years ago when Jesus was a baby, I took my first insurance class at the Institute of Insurance in Chapel Hill. Something that uh, has stayed in my mind for many years. It was in, uh, led by the late John Young. And if you've ever had a class with John Young, it's something that stays with you. I want to thank you all for allowing me and our company to give back to an association that has, has meant so much to me. From 1975, when I first took that first course to today, this association has meant a lot to me and, and its members, uh, and personally and professionally. But also, I'd like to thank uh, um, people, my colleagues that are here, uh, who have put a lot of time in making this uh, this broadcast possible. Uh, Brian Stewart, David Haley, and all the people back in our offices who who make me look good. It takes a lot of them to make me look good. But I deeply appreciate that, and I'm very honored. Thank you so much. The Ernest F. Young Education Award is awarded to uh, by the um, family of Ernest F. Young, who was a longtime member of the association and a great educator. Um, our recipient today was born and raised in Sanford, North Carolina. Uh, joined the insurance family business immediately after his graduation from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. He's a third generation family member to be involved in the HC, and his grandfather actually established this agency in 1935. In 1985, he attained his uh, certified insurance counselor designation and his hometown newspaper named this individual the best insurance in, in, agent in Lee County in 2003, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009. That's a pretty good record there. That sounds like the Tar Heels record running there. Sorry, Bobby. He began teaching uh, CISR classes for the Independent Insurance Agents in North Carolina in 2005 and has consistently received some of the highest scores from uh, as any other CISR instructor. Here's some typical comments after his classes. The instructor was outstanding, one of the best classes I have ever attended. He was awesome, best instructor I have had, kept us alert and awake. That's very important. <laughs> He's a highly effective speaker and uses multiple real life examples. I would recommend him as a CIC speaker. As you can see today, our recipient has a passion for education and he has a gift for teaching. It's with great pleasure that I announce to you the recipient of the 2011 Ernest F. Young Education Award, Mr. Buck Harris of Harris and Company of Sanford. Now I know why my wife had me come to Charlotte, because I wasn't coming to the convention. Um, I'm very grateful. Uh, you know, somebody mentioned John Young, and I appreciate that. Wayne did that. Um, he taught me, too, at the Institute of Insurance in Chapel Hill and, and gave me a passion. And that's one of the reasons I teach. People say, why do you teach? Well, I want to give back to this industry that's been good to me and my family for, you know, as he said, three generations. And also, um, to just, other than give back, I couldn't stand it when my, my, me or my staff would go to a class and come back and, well, we really didn't learn anything. So we try to have fun, but I want them to learn something, but I appreciate it. Thank you. Buck, I'm sure those classes your staff was talking about were probably not BI classes, but, uh, and we're going to be in Myrtle Beach next year, so we want you there as well. Um, uh, an attorney once asked um, Jesus, um, who is your neighbor? And it was a result of a, a debate that was going along. And they were actually trying to trick him into saying something that uh, didn't abide with the law they were living under at the time. 
Then you look back and reply it in the form of a parable, a story, um, and it's one that you're all very familiar with today. Uh, there was a traveler, it seems, that was going from one town to the other, and uh, he, he came upon some uh, uh, robbers, some muggers, and they beat him, and they, they stole what he had, and they stripped his clothes off of it, and left him there to die. Um, there were two individuals that were coming in the opposite direction, uh, and they both saw his condition, and they crossed to the other side of the road so they wouldn't have to deal with it. I don't know why. The Bible didn't tell us why. Whether they were too busy, didn't want to get their hands dirty, it doesn't say. But they were they should have stopped and they didn't. But then another gentleman happened along, and uh, the story goes that he saw this individual and had compassion in his heart. He stopped and helped him. He didn't just stop and help him, he went the extra mile. Because we're told he took care of his wounds and prepared oil and put on them. Lifted it up, put him on his animal, and carried him into the next town. And when he got there, he stayed with him until he thought he would be okay. And actually gave the innkeeper money so he could stay a few more days until he was completely healed. From this story, you all know we get the colloquial phrase, the Good Samaritan. And whenever we hear of someone doing a good job, a lot of people will refer to that, the Good Samaritan. Well, our 2011 agent of the year is a person who not only exemplifies the requirements set by and the guidelines for the agent of the year, but he's also a good Samaritan. Um, we had one of our employees from the association um, attending or, or, or doing what she does, and that's consulting work out in the western part of the state, and there was a, there was a problem with the hotel there, and she slipped and fell and uh, really destroyed her shoulder. I mean, uh, she, was, she was hurting pretty badly, and uh, bad, severely enough, she didn't uh, call 911. I really didn't understand that at first, but she explained that to me earlier, so I, I, may, I may share that with you a little later in the story here. But uh, this individual in this hometown uh, came and stayed with her until her family was able to arrive the entire time. So it went the extra mile. As you know, um, when I took this position early in the fall, I said I was going to go all over the state and I was just going to brag on insurance agents, particularly independent insurance agents, because you guys are the backbones of our community. And uh, this individual and many of you probably wouldn't think twice about what happened to this staff member because we, many of you would have done the same thing, but this guy does it consistently um, and has throughout his life, his friends and family have told me. Our agent of the year is a catamount. Now, many of you don't know what that is, but uh, I guarantee you Kathy Lance and Gary Lance can tell you. That's a graduate of Western Carolina University, and they're called the Cats, and that's what they call their sports team. But uh, this individual graduated from Western in 1984. He's also a graduate of the Insurance Executive Program at Appalachian State University in Boone. He served on the agency advisory councils for both Hanover Insurance Company and Penn National Insurance Companies. He served on the uh, Young Agents Committee and the Small and Rural Agents Committees. In 1993, he was designated as the most valuable producer by Volunteer Fireman's Insurance Services, York, Pennsylvania. He was recognized by the Spruce Pine News, I didn't know all these newspapers did this, as the best of the best insurance agent in 2004 and 2006. He has served on the Mitchell County Chamber of Commerce Board, the Mitchell County Transportation Safety Board, and the Mitchell County Hospice Board. He's a member of Parkway Fire and Rescue and has been since 1982. He's also the chairman of the deacons at Grassy Creek Baptist Church, and he's also their music director. And I can tell you something a little side here, and those of you who are young agents at this young agents convention remember this. He's probably the highest kick and clogger you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> if, if the music before Rocky Top breaks out, get out of the way. <laughs> He's married to his wife, Sandy, who's a school teacher, and he has a daughter, Tiffany. She's a student at East Tennessee State University. Um, ladies and gentlemen, our 2011 Independent Insurance Agent of North Carolina Agent of the Year, Mr. John Hall, the Fortner Insurance Agent. <laughs>
Jackson said he's the only one who couldn't speak. Boy, I'm, I'm speechless. Uh, I tell you what, uh, this association's been great for me. Uh, I go back, as many of you know, uh, my father's been um, still working one day a week in the agency uh, after 53 years, soon to be 53 years. Uh, so it goes back a long way, and uh, he was participated in this association. And I just, I just appreciate that thing. I, I just love coming. Uh, I love every one of you. Uh, it's, it's great to be here and be a part. I have so many friends and so many relationships here. And uh, I did skip church to be here, you know. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I appreciate everything. I, I appreciate this award. I'm, I'm absolutely uh, awestruck. But uh, I thank you. I appreciate it. Play the music now, the Rocky Top thing. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to recognize a guy I've been calling ambassador all morning, Mr. Don Evans. He's going to come forward and install the new board members. Ah. Thank you, Jackie. Um, this time, it's my pleasure to install the new officers and directors of the Independent Insurance Agents of North Carolina. So if all of you would, please join me on stage. All the directors. All the directors new officers. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. All of you. Yeah. Come on. It's a crowd. Some of you might have to turn like getting your picture made sideways. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to ask the following to step forward, please. Take a step forward. Uh, for a two-year, for a term of one year, the chairman-elect, David Wayne Purini of the MSH Insurance, Rocky Mount. Secretary. Robert Godwin Bobby Salmon, Jr., Sin Dunn Raleigh. Treasurer, Donald Scott Scotty Evans, Coastal Insurance, Shalot. Term of two years, National Director. John Dow Rimple, Dow Snipes, Snipes Insurance, Dunn. Two automatic positions um, uh, are going to be filled. The chairman, uh, Mr. Timothy Grady uh, Templeton, will get with you in a few minutes and talk about the ice cream, too. Uh, immediate past chairman, Jackie Ireland, Anders Ireland Marshall, Raleigh. Directors, District 1, William Bill Vogides III, Vogides Insurance, Edenton. District 5, Mrs. Wilma Clayton, Woodbury and Company, Wilmington. District 9, Russell Glenn Rusty Chrisman, CMS Insurance and Financial Services, Yadkinville. Director at large, his first term, Richard Allen Rick Heckle, Dean Heckle and Hill, Matthews. You please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly and sincerely promise to uphold the administration of the office to which you've been elected to the best of your ability and judgment and conformity with the Constitution and bylaws of this association, that you will observe the code of ethics of the independent insurance agents and brokers of America and uphold and support the association, association and all its activities and that you will in every manner possible promote and safeguard the mission and purposes of your association and the welfare of your community. So help you God. If so, please answer, I will. Thank you. You are hereby installed to the offices for which you've been elected. Congratulations and know you have the support of all of us.
It's now time to pass the leadership of this association on to your newly elected chairman. And I'm going to ask Tim and Macy Templeton, please come forward, please. You didn't know you were going to get to come up here, did you? <laughs> Tim, raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly and sincerely swear to uphold the administration of Chairman of the Independent Insurance Agents of North Carolina to the best of your ability and judgment, and in conformity with the bylaws of this association, that you will observe the code of ethics of the Independent Insurance Agents of North Carolina, uphold and support the association in all its activities, and that all of your actions will be governed by the principles of honesty, justice, and fair play, and that you will in every manner possible, promote and safeguard the high purposes of your association and the welfare of your community. So help you God. Okay. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I hereby proclaim you to be installed to the office of chairman of the Independent Insurance Agents of North Carolina. He's got a real big grin on his face. Well, I've got a couple things to cover, and it won't take long. First, I want to thank Macy for joining. I've got a supportive family, and Chase and Hannah, they're here. My mom, Audrey, looking great at 72 years old. <laughs> thank you for the good hair, jeans. <laughs> My sister, Kristen's here. Uh, uh, niece and nephew Savannah and Garrett are still at the water park. They're going for the 24-hour record. <laughs> we'll be, there'll be two big pickles when they finish. We get out of the water park after 24 hours up there. I have uh, my business partners here. We have I don't know, roughly a dozen, maybe 15 folks from Sin Dunn here today, and I really appreciate y'all getting up and coming and being with us. I got thinking about who was going to be here. And I, I wrote down some notes, and it just kind of, I'll, I'll have to kind of look at it because it got so long, I wanted you to hear about this group. Within these two tables, we have a past Big Eye president. We have current and past chairs of the technical young agent and audit committees. We have several agents of the year. We have two young agents of the year. We have an employee benefits task force member. We have a Big Eye Executive Committee member. We have two North Carolina CSRs of the year. We have one national CSR of the year. We have two, uh, we have a North Carolina Insurance Women's State and Chapter President. We have two CPCU Chapter Presidents. We have one national CPCU Committee member amongst these tables. And I would tell you, if I didn't get the nod for Big Eye Chairman, they were going to talk to me about my commitment to the industry. <laughs> I was feeling the pressure. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for being with us this morning. Jackie said it, and I feel it. It's easy to represent you. It's easy to be part of this group. You love your communities. You support your clients. You're active. You're caring. And be able to be a part of this, I've learned so much and I enjoy it so much. And I got to tell you, it's an easy job to serve on the Big Eye Board and then become the chairman because it's easy to represent people that are like you. It's really special to be here. I will tell you, we have one person that couldn't join us this morning. My dad's under the weather a little bit. Overall, he's got great health, but he's had a little challenge this uh, past week. So sorry, dad can't be here and I wish he was here, but I understand. Uh, we also have a partner, Gray McCaskill, who's pretty important to all of us. He was on vacation and uh, is probably still in the air getting here, uh, getting back to, to uh, North Carolina. He couldn't be with us today, but I really, uh, really miss both of them and wish they could be here. I've got one point I want to make this morning before I have some other official duties, and that point is um, this industry is so good. What you do to help your clients, to be with your clients, I mean, hourly, you do things, you answer the simplest question, or you respond to the biggest catastrophe. You respond, you listen, you get involved, you don't hang back. And that's what attracts 
me to this industry, and I think that's what attracts others. When I see the young agents here, I think they're attracted to that, and I see folks that have been doing it a long, long time, they're attracted to that. This association is only designed to help you. It's here to serve you to do it better, faster, stronger. The education that's available through the association, the, the, the products, the services, the IT consulting, the HR help, the professional development, um, everything that's here at the association is designed to help you serve your clients better. And, uh, and I would tell you, many of you take, uh, take full advantage of that. Um, somebody once said in 2001, what we do is a good thing. And I would tell you, we'll up the ante a little bit here in 2011 and say what we do is a great thing. And uh, we really, really have something special here, and I enjoy being part of it. So thank you much to all of you. I've got one official duty this morning, and that is to thank Jackie and Pam properly. Would y'all join me on stage? I'll go ahead and start and let you know that Jackie's been a achiever since knee-high. Former Boy Scout, Eagle Scout, obtained the rank of God and Country, went on to the Navy, nuclear propulsion specialist. That scares me a little bit. <laughs> yeah, right. He uh, joined the insurance industry in 1987. Quickly, quickly got involved within the association. Uh, became Young Agent of the Year in 1996. He also joined the board in 1996. He has participated and led almost every committee within the association. We have, you know, seven or eight committees across the association, and he's been part of almost every single one of them. On the national level, he served the Young Agents Committee nationally. He chaired that committee nationally. Um, he was elected Young Agent of the Year in 1996. He served on the executive committee starting in 2007, and now he's completing his uh, term as chairman of the board of the IIANC. So, Jackie, you've served. You've been thoughtful. You've been reverent. You've been selfless. And you've been uh, reverent. And for that, all of us thank you for all of your service. Given Jackie the coveted, coveted past chairman's gavel. <laughs> now, Pam, you have shared Jackie with us, and we really appreciate it. We've shared them time. What some of you may or may not know is that Pam and Jackie make beautiful music together both literally and figuratively. They're both vocalists, and they've shared their voices with us at some other events. They're very active in their church and often, often enjoy that. You'll also notice a little twinkle in their eye. Their new grandparents became grandparents last month. Son, grandson Jackson. Jackson became, uh, new, uh, came into this world last month and their new grandparents. So from young age in the year to granddad, they're doing pretty good. And uh, I got to tell you, he looks pretty good to be, uh, to be a granddad. Jackie, these are for you. Thank you for all your efforts and all your time within the association. This award is so secret, only me and my metallurgist know about it. Not a Ke dagger, is it? Kelly's got the uh, microphone button, the off button in his hand right now. He's, he's getting worried a little bit. Jackie, we've gone to no expense <laughs> <laughs> for this commemorative plastic medal. Jackie's achieved something that nobody in the state, we don't think anybody in the state could achieve. It's such a rarity. But we've come to understand that Jackie has been business partners with Cloyce Anders since 1987. <laughs> this 
eagle medal on the front with a nicely done sticky on the back says, I survived Cloy's. 1987 until question mark. Since Cloy's is going to work forever, we didn't know what year to put in there at the end. It's for patience. It's for giving to others and being Cloy's business partner since 1987. Where did all your royal occasions? <laughs>